As Queensland's extensive gas fields are developed, much of the early work involves laying small pipelines that take gas from wells to processing plants. QGC, a BG Group business, has introduced a pipe laying innovation to the gas fields to minimise environmental impact. It's called the spider plough, which digs a trench, lays the pipe and then refills the trench. Ploughing the pipe in is quicker than the traditional trenching method and there's no open trench to trap wildlife or stock. Many of QGC's gas wells and pipelines are on land the company owns, as are its processing facilities and water treatment infrastructure. All of QGC's gas wells, pipelines and other equipment on private property have been located with the express agreement of landholders. Landholders are compensated for the wells, pipelines, infrastructure and roads, and normal agricultural production can continue on the land when the wells are established and linked to the production network. The gathering system, as the pipeline network is called, involves laying buried pipes that take gas and water to a compression station for initial processing. The heavy-duty plastic pipelines are about 300 millimetres in diameter. Lengths of pipe are first laid out on a right-of-way that has been cleared for the trench. In open country, where most of the pipelines are laid, preparing the right-of-way creates little disturbance. In scrubby or timbered country, the right-of-way is cleared by machinery, with the topsoil stockpiled separately for rehabilitation of the disturbed area. Then, the 20-metre lengths of pipe are welded together in sections up to one kilometre long. The spider plough, which lays the pipe simultaneously, is pulled forward by one or two tracked vehicles. In open country, the plough is at its best, laying up to two kilometres of pipeline a day. Disturbance to the land is minimal and rehabilitation is fast and simple. In rocky or difficult terrain, a rock saw is used in the right of way to dig a trench, which is then refilled in advance of the spider plough. The same technique is used to pull the plough forward as it lays the pipe. The stored topsoil is then spread over the disturbed ground and the right of way is rehabilitated. Within months, it can be difficult to see where the right of way has been.